Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a fascinating challenge that many developers encounter. Our viewer is looking for a way to ensure that each node in a recursive tree structure has a unique title. Specifically, they want to check for duplicate titles when a text box loses focus. If a duplicate is found, the user should be alerted and the title should revert to its previous value. Let's dive into this unique problem and explore how we can implement a solution. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you're looking for. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully you work through to that resolution. Let's get started. To ensure that each node in our recursive tree structure has a unique title, we need to implement a function that checks for duplicate names when the input field loses focus. We'll start by defining a function called check duplicate node name. This function will traverse the tree structure to verify if the title already exists. Inside this function, we will use a recursive approach to search through all nodes. If a duplicate is found, we will alert the user and reset the input field to its previous value. Finally, we will bind this function to the ngBlur event of the input field. This ensures that the check is performed as soon as the user clicks away from the text box. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To check for duplicate values in a recursive array structure during a text box blur event, you can use a recursive function. This function checks each node and its children for duplicates based on a title. Alternatively, you can maintain a list of titles to track duplicates. This method uses an object to store titles and checks if a new title already exists before adding it. Lastly, if you're adding new objects, keep in mind that there won't be a previous value to reset to. This approach should help you get started with managing duplicates. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To check for duplicate values in a recursive array structure during a text box blur event, first store a validated copy of the name, then recursively search for duplicates, stopping at the first match. If a duplicate is found, revert to the last valid name, otherwise update the last valid name. It's important to validate the name only on Blur to allow user flexibility. Angular provides various validation methods, but they can restrict user input. Choose the method that best fits your needs. Using a hash map for duplicates could complicate the code with additional cleanup logic. Instead, store a reference to the parent node and use a method to find the root node for searching duplicates. Here's a code snippet demonstrating the implementation in AngularJS. It includes functions for adding nodes, checking for duplicates, and managing the tree structure. And that's it guys. I hope the video helped find that resolution you're looking for and, you know, 
If it did, please, I appreciate it if you could hit subscribe. Until next time, guys, that you need more technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.